at uh, Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway doing a little bit of off-roading today and uh, getting ready to cross this creek right here you can kind of tell it's a little deeper on the other side than what it is right here because of the water collar um, so I got to cross here I've been on the trail now about an hour it's uh, not too bad about like Pendleton County back roads um, kind of just a nice slow bumpy ride few obstacles so far haven't been no problem I've been in two-wheel drive 90% of the time um, so this is from Slade to 614 to Spas Creek Road I think it's called or Spas Creek uh, mostly in two-wheel drive a couple times I put it in four-wheel drive there's a couple places where the trails nearly washed out and you got to watch it when you go through there because it's washing out into the creek and it will re be really easy for you to get sideways in your Jeep on that part of the trail there's like two spots I've seen so far like that but anyways I stopped here I had to uh, use the facilities and uh, I just wanted to stretch my legs a little bit and then I'm headed on up that way so I'm recording this uh, trail so uh, we'll see how it goes I am by myself so I if you know if an obstacle looks like I'm not gonna be able to do it or it puts me at risk I'm just gonna skip it because I am by myself and I would have to self recover if anything happens so not a big deal but I'm just not taking any huge risk today mostly just wanted to get out of the house oh well thanks for watching
All right, so I made it to the uh, top of the hill at Spas River Road or whatever that's called and getting ready to make the hard right turn before you get to Pumpkin Hollow Road, I think that's what it's called. When you get to the top, there's a sign. I'll turn around, get over here and show you. There's a sign that actually says Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway. And the road looks like it goes to the left, but no, you got to go to the right up that hill. But uh, that hill, that climb at the end of, uh, before you make this right hand turn though, it's a pretty good climb. I had some holes where I could hear my muffler gurgling in the water. And uh, just go slow and take your time and everything will be fine.